Hi there everybody. I'm here today with my son Xander to share a little Buddhist Geeks farm update with you. And this is July 2020 uh -huh. and um, we've been working hard on our prototype gardens here at home. So mm -hmm. I want to show you what we've been working on. Yep. Alright, so we're going to start here at the top garden where we've got a bunch of raised beds. In the big raised bed we were uh, growing lettuce and they just went to seed and so we replanted that bed and we've got now uh, it's only really been a few days but already we're starting to see a couple little little sprouts coming out they're coming and we point planted what 40 uh, heads of lettuce in here yeah we planted 40 so quite a bit and then next to that we've got a couple um, herbs. We've got basil and par uh, parsley here. And then um, we've got these Arab cucumbers, which is a variety that I got from my grandfather, uh, heirloom variety. And they're really kind of a special treat. They're very sweet compared to most other forms of cucumbers I've had. And we're using these um, tomato cages here to, um, to let the cucumbers grow up since we're using such a limited space. And of course we've got one that's, we're, we're actually giving one a chance to grow out and see how this one does. But mostly they're growing up. And what's been kind of new for us, being beginner beginners, is that we've also had to learn how to kind of tie them and help them grow up. Yeah. Yeah, and then they've, they've been using their own little, little uh, tentacles mm -hmm. to kind of grow up from there, which is really cool to watch. Yeah, and, and one at the down south garden is even getting up. Even higher, yeah, we'll show... To, to add heel? Yeah, we'll show them the, the ones that are getting really tall. Yeah, yeah, so good. Onions that are still being picked. And then we've got collards today. We're going to... Um, these have been being eating, eaten pretty, pretty well by some bugs, but we're going to uh, harvest the rest of these today, cook them and then clear out those two beds for something, some new stuff. And then over here we've got one more cucumber, same, same situation. Yep. Yep. And here actually, we've got a couple cucumbers that are growing. Yeah. So these are starting to come and uh, we'll, be, we'll be eating them pretty soon. All right, let's go down to the downstairs garden. You wanna lead the way? All right. Yeah, we have to take this slow, that's right. <laughs> yeah, we've got some little rock steps here. And then, of course, we've got vegetables growing here on the floor, the rocks. <laughs> and then we're down to our lower garden. Where again, we're using these smart, uh, smart fabric raised beds, these smart pots. And here we've had uh, kale growing for quite a while. We're gonna actually harvest this today as well. Clear out this entire bed and get it ready to be replanted. So that's happening. And then here we've got, uh, I think in the last video we showed you right when he planted these. On the left here we've got zucchini. This is a black beauty variety of zucchini. And they're starting to um, flower and come. And then, aren't they beautiful? There's a bee that really likes that. And then here we have our other cucumbers that are, are as Xander said, they're growing really tall. Yeah, and this one is even going higher than this. Whoa! Tree. How high do you think that thing's going to go? I don't know. Maybe to the top of that tree? Maybe the top of the tree? Whoa. I don't know. I've never seen a cucumber go that far, that high. But these are looking really beautiful. I think they, they're growing so much better down here which tells me that the sunlight down here is probably more what they like. I think we get a little bit better sun over yeah. here. But yeah, these are these are really going to be producing lots of cucumbers. So yeah, that's our basic update, isn't it? There's not much more to show than that. Um, pr like I said, we're going to be replanting some new things, starting to plant um, some more kale and lettuces, things that are going to uh, mature and start to to produce or when it starts getting cooler. And then we want to do some more spinach. We actually got some spinach seeds 
from our last spinach plants and we let those go to seed and we collected, I don't know, maybe a hundred seeds. So that was a pretty cool experiment. It went well. And yeah, we're gonna keep working on our forest gardening here.